Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me for the first episode and general impressions of Omega Strike. This is a run and gun Metroidvania. So think like a Metroidvania with a metal slug feel to it. That's kind of what I'm getting, the vibe I'm getting from this game. I have not gotten into the game. I've not played any of the game. This is completely blind. So we're gonna see what it's all about, but that's kind of the feeling I got from the Steam page. So let's jump right in, do a new game. Oh, we got normal. Yeah, we're definitely going to be normal. We're not gonna do a hard mode. It all started with a top secret military research project. A team of scientists led by the brilliant Dr. Alphonse Omega. Their goal was to enhance the capabilities of ordinary soldiers make them better faster stronger they created the alpha elixir its effects were almost miraculous the military leaders were pleased oh he grew up big and strong the elixir was widely administered among the armed forces to increase performance exactly as dr omega had planned after a while, the changes began. Soldiers turned into ferocious mutants under the control of Dr. Omega. The remaining forces had little chance against the mutant hordes. All resistance were crushed. Oh, well, that doesn't sound good. Now Dr. Omega rules with the mutant armies by his side, free to conduct his foul experiments on the population. Only a small group of brave freedom fighters remain to oppose Dr. Omega in his reign of terror. Meanwhile, in the resident resistant hideout, General Tucker, welcome to the briefing, gentlemen. Dr. Omega's forces are already crawling the cavern, so I'll try to keep this brief. Our leading scientist, Professor Einhorn, has come up with a new plan to defeat Dr. Omega. You must fight your way to the surface and find the professor in a town called Tumbleweed. He will provide you with more details about your mission. The professor has also sent us this little gizmo, a handheld teleporter. Each of you has unique talents, and now we can put them all to good use. This device will allow you to warp in the right man for each situation. Meanwhile, the rest of you can remain out of sight. This way will attract less attention from Omega's forces and increase the chance of success. It is imperative that you find Professor Einhorn. We are all counting on you. Good luck. Okay, well that is the... Okay, so we can move there. Map. Pause. Swap special jump jump and shoot no shoot it okay i think i got that we'll, we'll figure that out that's a little okay so we could look around and move that's good the uh, duck or lay down jump shoot and then that will switch each one out and now each character which is kind of cool so we got three different characters we could be each one has a special ability as he said and that's going to help us out throughout the the game. What are you waiting for? Go find Professor Einhorn and Tumbleweed. Good luck. Okay. Let's see what he. Let's see what everybody has to say. Area secure, sir. Hey, well that is good. Let's go see. We have two little health bars up there, so hopefully we'll be all right. You can swap between different characters by pressing the swap button. All characters have their own special abilities. That's what we needed to know. We kind of knew that. Those are the other two characters. He's he's playing Pong. That's too awesome. Yes, I love it. He's playing Pong. Okay, let's go. Can I shoot that barrel? That barrel looks different. Okay, so we can get that. And we got one gold. So I wonder if gold is going to be used as... We doesn't look like we have a double jump here. Gold is going to be used as a currency. I'm assuming that we could buy stuff. Okay, I can't sell that. I like how... Like the background is not outlined in black. And then these guys are that really easily tells, differentiates what I can interact with. 
Heading out to kick some mutant butt? Yes, I am. Could you tell the general to turn the heat back on? <laughs> He's cold. I'm freezing my... Yeah, off. Okay. Sure. I'm excited. Let's on exit on out of here and see. Resistant caverns, okay. The press the attack button to fire. Hold the button to fire continuously. Oh, yeah. Auto fire. I like it. We got some spikes down there, so we got to be careful about that. Let's get these little mutant caterpillars out of here they have some big fangs here i'm liking the game already the it doesn't look like we have a double jump or at least this character doesn't but the i always forget the word for it what is that word where the background changes or the two backgrounds slide at different rates i can't th i can't for some reason i cannot for the life of me think of what that is but I really like that. We got this little background here that stays with the wall. And then you got that further background. Press up to grab hold of the chain. Okay, well, I figured that's what we'd do. Can I shoot from the chain? I can. Both ways. Okay, that's good. And I don't have to hold right or left. So we just push one way or the other. And then you're shooting that way. But I cannot shoot up on the chain. That's interesting. Okay. Boom, boom boom i like the little shells coming out of his weapon as he fires that's pretty cool let's head on up it looks like he's climbing without his feet and i would think that would be extremely hard you would need some massive upper body strength to climb without your using your feet at all okay got that guy i'm liking this guy these little mutant guys look really cool okay so let's see boxes seem to i'm not sure if they're gonna have stuff in it i bet you it's gonna tell me that i can do that yeah hold down and press jump to fall through platform so that's cool we got good controls here he's not having a problem or anything controlling him his jump seemed to be working the way i want to that guy has a little spiky spike shooting out at me we don't have ammo which i particularly like i've always had a problem with running out of ammo okay dex can leap higher than the other characters with his double jump ability press the jump button what well, there we go so we could switch there you go that's our his ability he's going to help us out to get to higher places that's going to be his ability that is going to work he has also a shorter range that looks like a shotgun there has some spread to that now that's the guy that had, okay and then what does he have oh he has they all have different weapons that's kind of cool so he's going to help me out in areas like this where i could shoot down at him interesting i like this definitely am enjoying this so far well done let's see what else we can get into we're still kind of in the beginning area trying to figure out what's going on i grabbed that book but oh it's a med kit how do i use a med kit if you find Items you find are added to your inventory. You can't access the inventory from the pause menu. Okay. So abilities, inventory. So inventory. I got one med kit. I can use it or back. I don't want to use my med kit right now, but we do have a map here, which is cool. It looks like it opens up as we go through it, which is a nice. I like that. That I like that a lot. This I'm not sure I like this guy's gun, though. It's a lot slower it's indicative of a shotgun i guess it's a lot slower and probably has more damage bear the strongest of the characters can even move boulders walk into the boulder to push it i really like this the way this little tutorial is going it's definitely helpful i just want to look at the map real quick okay we might need to use the other guy though but i could shoot i like his ability though his is the way his bullets drop off there's definitely a good use for that i wonder what's going to happen if he shoots up I, was, I don't have very much room there but okay it just does nothing Ooh, i was worried about that jump there for a second but see i can take care of this guy with his weapon really easily there we go oh it bounced oh i like that that's kind of cool i didn't notice that before so it's kind of a bouncing projectile that's going to be extremely helpful here okay jump 
I want to go get that treasure chest, it looks like. Let's see what's in there. We got a skull. Oh, yeah. oh, 30 gold. Okay, so we sold the skull for 30 gold. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not, but okay. Oh, he has a gun. The best person to be probably here. Uh, okay, he did it. I was going to say would be not him, but him because he has the longest range. And he's going to be able to shoot this guy better. Oh, gosh, I thought I was going to fall into the spikes. Doing pretty good, I got to save right now. He has a, yeah, he definitely has the longest range. That's going to help me get rid of those guys fairly easily. Okay, so we got another thing over here to interact with. Probably just a button thing here. Or maybe I have to turn it on and shoot it. Okay, we're going to have to figure out how to. Oh, that's just switching out. Wonder if he can't push it. So I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna have to turn that on or something. There's gonna be a button later on that's gonna be able to switch that. Is the only thing I can think of right off the top, man. It is a Metroidvania, so I do expect to have to go around a little bit. We're going to be exploring different areas, walking back, that sort of stuff is definitely, I expect that. Ooh, what does that do? We're gonna have to figure that out and there's an exit, okay. Game saved, okay, that's cool, cool. Let's look at the map. Okay, so the game save thing is red. One of the interesting things about a Metroidvania is the ability to save in timely manner. And also the other thing that would be really good is how you come back so metrovania usually sets you out in a far off area it, it's it's not linear but it takes you far away from the base and then you've got to periodically go back to base somehow or go back a metrovania take typically has areas in which you need to revisit and I wonder, oh, how am I going to get, and I just jump over those? Okay, that'll work. I wonder how they're going to make that ability to revisit work good in this game. Now, a lot of games, a lot of Metroidvanias have a certain way of doing that, such as, I could shoot him like that, sweet. A quick, easy way to quickly and easily come back wrap around somehow and i'm curious how this game is going to do that that's one of the marks of a good metrovania if you can get back to the base or back to areas revisited fairly easily in a metroidvania that's a good thing and that's really one of the things that kind of sets a ow i got hit okay so it takes off a quarter so i thought i had two hits so I actually have eight. That's good to know. I kind of like that I got hit there. So I know that. But the, yeah, the ability to walk back around or warp back around is a major, not a contender, a major, I don't even know how to say it, a major concern when you're talking about Metrovania. And that, that simple action often sets metroidvanians apart ouch the ability and okay so we all share the same health too that's another interesting point that looks explosive i want to yeah not any more explosive than the other ones okay i thought that might be an explosive where i hit it and it blows up largely in a certain area but oh whoa we found meat oh yeah we got to refill our health i didn't even mean to do that we're gonna jump up here and shoot this guy from there. That's gonna be helpful. That looks like a secret. Oh yeah, we got a life cube. I don't know what that does, but we'll find out at some point. Okay, so is that another? Yeah, so it doesn't look so far that the barrels are any particularly, there is a variety of barrels and they're going to all react the same. It doesn't appear that certain barrels explode any bigger or any more one of the other hallmarks of a good metroidvania is the 
how the power-ups work in the game and how what what powers you up and how that unlocks other areas then we'll have to see how that works as we go through i feel that he's just a tad bit slow maybe not i feel that this guy is a little bit faster than the big guy but maybe not maybe that's just my imagination okay so let's look we're just going through the map trying to find something oh we found somebody mutant bastard shot me up pretty good i took the power core from the security door to slow them down it's right there next to me ah that's what i needed you can use it to open the security door and make your way to the surface good luck oh yeah so we need that power core to open the door that we were at before but if that's going to lead us to the surface then I want to go back and see what that other area had because there was another area. Oh gosh, I didn't really mean to drop there. There was another area. Ouch. Down in the corner that I want to check out and see if there's something specific. A hidden thing. You don't I don't know. I don't know what the game has to offer whether there's going to be a lot of hidden stuff very little hidden stuff the hidden stuff is going to be extremely difficult to find that's another thing that i really judge metroidvanias really critically about is the secrets how can i find the secrets how easy how simple it is to find the correct way and find the correct way once you get those things that unlock can i get to him i can but his power his thing is like way too high so those things that unlock the areas or unlock a door or something to the next area those things are usually the thing that makes you go back through the area so you'll have one area that will block you off you got to go a different way so that you pick something up and then you have to come back through now finding not only the thing that you need to continue but how easy it is to figure out where that ability is used has a big effect on the game and how you how you play the game and i think that's a real big thing you i think you don't want to be too too confusing if you get a lot of different power-ups that open a lot of different areas at the same time then you're running all over the map several times to try to figure out which power-up opens which new area and that's ends up becoming very frustrating at least for me so we've got to be careful on how that is going to work here that's the way to the power door but like i said i want to run down here and see what that other area is i, I took a ch i made a choice to go left and it looks like it would have been better that's probably a dead end over to the right but it might hold something good for me and that's kind of what i want to figure out it may be another treasure chest here that gives me something it could be ah shoot oh gosh yeah that shotgun is a lot slower now will he continue he yeah he will continually shoot as well but his shot is much slower but i'm also thinking that those shots those three shots are going to hit the enemy at the same time and probably do more damage i keep on hitting the, okay we're almost there let's just run over here one more and then we've got to go oh it's that guy oh yeah that's okay yeah 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 we went through here this is where we decided to go that one way and there should be another oh gosh he's fast i'm continuously hitting the button i don't know why but i'm like it told me specifically that i could just hold the button in but i am hitting the button several times okay those guys oh uh, yeah those guys were kind of difficult not difficult you just gotta watch out for him in the spikes and watch out. i'm not going to be able to shoot him anytime soon i don't think let's get out of here 
Oh, look, look, ah, we got another cube, but we'll need my double jump guy. See, that's exactly what I was thinking. Something that's going to help us out that's going to be able to, and that was worth it to go that way, in my opinion, to find that item so that we can get a little bit more. Nah, that's not who I wanted. I like his fire rate a lot better, but the other guy definitely has some use there. Okay. It was very important to pick up that cube because I'm curious to what it does. There we go. Oh, there we go. Made it. I want more chicken legs out of these box. There we go. We got another chicken leg. Awesome. Oh, there's a some gold. Let's get this gold as well because I think it's going to be useful in the long run here. I like how his bullets bounce a little bit. I really do. That's pretty cool. I'm going to make this a little bit. Ew. That double jump guy. I wanted to make sure I got a good jump there so that we can make sure we make it without too much trouble i like that i can hold it in because i i always had a hard time if i shooting hitting the button several times in areas like this where you have to jump up and shoot i always end up just shooting the ground here and missing it so i like to be able to just jump up and hold it or hold the button down and keep just jumping that's that's going to help me out quite a bit and I love how the shells just fly out and stay on the ground like that. That is really cool. Okay, we are going the right way here. Let's go through here, set in the power cord and get ready to go. Let's see, we might want to go ahead and see how far this takes me and see where the next save is. We just passed a save. So that's again, one of the things that is very important in a metroidvania is figuring out i want to know if i could shoot that it doesn't seem like i could shoot that bomb can i shoot up through the ground i can at least on these platforms here that's going to be helpful i like this a lot just being able to shoot in that way almost like it's the he's shooting grenades out at there that's going to be extremely helpful i like this but he's my favorite. I'm not my favorite, but his weapon so far has definitely been the most useful in general. There we go. But I want to see if I can get like, I'm assuming like range up. There's going to be, I think a lot of maybe more powerful weapons, different weapons, range up maybe. I'm just trying to think of, well, if I can get that jump, there we go. I'm just trying to think of some of the things in a Metroidvania setting. What would they add to the game here? Let's see if he can get. No, nope. it looks like we're going to be wrapping back around, though. Uh, jump over there. I really want to know if I can. Can I not at all? Nope. It doesn't like I look like I could do anything about those landmines. Nope, nope, that's not who I want. <laughs> not who I wanted. I wanted that guy. Range is very important to me. There we go. I think range, power is definitely important in a weapon, but I think if you have range, it's you're going to be able to shoot more often and hit them sooner and be able to kill them. See, the one thing I just don't want to be have to be able to shoot or bomb or have try to make sure I run into every wall to see if there's some tiny secret somewhere. There should be some telltale signs that there's a secret there. And that's what I'm hoping they'll do in the game. Because that's one of the things that I find really frustrating with Metrovanias is when they don't show off those secrets well enough and you, to get the next power up, you basically just got to run into every wall until you figure out which one is the right one. And it's very frustrating. Oh, shoot. There we go. And we are up into a new area. It looks like we found a, there we go. Another save spot there. And that I think is going to be our episode 
for today. I'm enjoying this. I like the aesthetics. The graphics is um, are amazing. Each guy has a special ability, which is indeed useful. So far, so good. I really do like it. The graphics are a, like I said, a, a, me a metal slug kind of feel to the graphics, but it's not that straight running gun like Metal Slug offered where there's always enemies coming in and you're always just shooting a bunch of enemies. It's much more Metroidvania in that aspect, but I like the graphics, the feel for the game, the controls, very well done so far. We're gonna go in some more in the next episode and to see if we can get to the surface and see what else, what other mutants lie in front of us. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.